Portable chargers are great when the power goes out, but long-term outages are possible when hurricanes make landfall. Meteorologist John Dawson has a USB power bank that looks to the sun for a recharge in today's hurricane gear test. Look, if your smartphone has no power, how are you going to look at the Fox 26 weather app? You've got the app on your phone, right? So to keep the app going, you could use solar panels or a USB power bank. But Renogy has put both of those options together. This is their solar power bank, and it has a 2-watt solar panel with a 15,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, that's a fairly large battery, lots of juice to bring your USB devices back to life. But what most folks really just want to know is how many times can they charge their cell phone. And that can be difficult to say since different phones have different size batteries. But I would say that most smartphones that are out there today, you would be able to get five to seven full charges. But it really doesn't matter because you're going to be recharging this battery anyway. Just leave it in the direct sunlight and let the solar panels go to work. But you should be warned that this two watts of power that's created from the solar panels will not give you a quick recharge. If there's no electricity available, you'll probably be taking more power out faster than the sun can put it back in. And that's why there's this micro USB port that's on here. That way you'll be able to charge this battery. You can make sure it's at 100% before the power goes out. Now that does leave you two USB power ports that you're going to be able to charge all of your different USB devices with. And I will say that I did have uh, some inconsistency uh, when I was charging uh, with both ports at the same time. It seems like if one of the devices stopped charging, then they both stopped. But otherwise, the operation was pretty simple. It does also come with a built-in light that's on the back that can provide some emergency lighting for you. And not that it's a huge deal, but the manual says that the light has an SOS function, but actually it just flashes. I'm going to give the Renogy Solar Power Bank a cat four out of a possible five on my hurricane kit priority scale. I'm not completely convinced on its durability, but it is certainly a good size and a great price. It lists for around 27 bucks. So besides your cell phone, what are the other USB devices that you need to keep charged? Tell me on Facebook. My page is at John Dawson Fox 26.